we ask that you do your part and move over and slow down to help keep our crews safe. A targeted enforcement effort focusing on drivers who failed to follow Ohio's move over law. More than a dozen citations were issued in two counties during a specialized effort aimed at keeping emergency responders and other roadside workers safe. Trumbull County reporter Nadine Grimley shows us trooper dash cam video of violations and explains why both troopers and road crews say it's an important law to follow. A targeted enforcement effort. We've had too many of our ODOT workers have been struck. We've had too many of our people struck, okay? I've been hit myself. Zeroing in on drivers who violated the state's move over law. It's a law that you move over and you fail to do so, okay? There wasn't an error. State law requires drivers to move over and slow down when there are flashing lights on the side of the road. This is when I stopped you. Is you want to ask the ODOT workers back here? I know that. I know that. Then move over. Okay. It's not just the law, it's, it's the, just the right thing to do. Sergeant Ray Santiago says 18 citations were issued last week during a combined six-hour specialized assignment over two days in active ODOT work zones on I-80 in Trumbull County and I-76 in Summit County. More than half of the citations were issued to drivers in Trumbull County. Each one of those poses a, a significant risk and a possible tragedy that ca could have taken place. But what's more important than the 18 citations that were issued during those six hours is the number zero. There were, there were zero ODOT workers struck. ODOT spokesman Ray Marsh says so far this year more than 80 ODOT workers, vehicles or pieces of equipment have been struck across Ohio. It's an alarming number with construction season really just starting to get underway. Please, we just ask all motorists as they head out this year in this construction season to move over and slow down to help keep our workers safe. In Trumbull County, Nadine Grimley, WKBN 27 First News.